Peace to the family. So kinds of TV. This is King Normer. We're back. Today we're gonna go over Elegua. My altar update and how to service him on Mondays. First and foremost, Ishu and Elegua are not the same being. Ishu is like his polar identity or his counterpart. They walk side by side. Ishu is given to you by Baba Loa. So it's not something that you would just buy at a botanica. Ishu can either go outside the door or he can go in the garden. Elegua is the one who goes behind the door. But there are many different Eleguas. You got your behind the door Elegua, you got your crossroads Elegua, and your Eleguas in many different places. So you gotta know which Elegua, Elegba, that you're working with. The same way in the Haitian voodoo, there are many different Papa Legbas, you know, so you gotta know which Papa Legba that you're working with. Um, basically, I'm gonna show you how to do a basic service for a label on Monday in case you wanna petition something or just basically honor him. So, uh, kinda of go uh, in, in, into depth on issue and a label because there are many different issues and there are many different Eleguas, but Elegua is the king of the issues. He Ishu is not really part of the Orishas, but he is Elegua's counterpart. They're both tricksters, but Ishu is like the more harmful, dangerous one. The way to calm him down is to feed him. Um, but but Elegua can't control him. You see what I'm saying? Because they walk side by side. It's kind of like his lower self. It's kind of like you know his darker self. But um. Let's basically get into it. Um, when some people start their rituals, wouldn't and whatnot, um, they like to put or mark X's on their uh, forehead and on both their wrists, you know, with like um, cascara or like eggshell and powder, wouldn't and whatnot. But um, there are many different rituals, but I'm just going to give you a basic simple ritual. So uh, let's get it started. Um, you always want to pour your libations. Some people like to pour three drops. Can I see good? Mm hmm. Okay. I like to do mine like this because this is how my first spiritual teacher, my first master teacher, the queen, taught me. Put my three drops. Then you knock three times. Of course, with your candle lit. Once you do that, you can say Elegua. Lord of the Crossroads, the gatekeeper. Um, I petition so and so and so and so. Or um, I simply want to honor and service you. So once you do that, you can like um, offer you this coffee. And you know, you can pour a shot of rum. Be like, I offer you some rum. They like what? Well, I offer you some rum. And you know, you can take communion with them, whether or not, and pour yourself a shot. I don't have my shot glass with me, but I pour my little shot for myself and drink with them. And then, you would also want to spray three times. Do everything in threes. You can service a legwa every Monday and on the third of every month. Spray three times. Some people spray three times per legwa. I just spray three times. You know, simple little. Here, I, I do it one more time. Just show it again. Simple little spray, nothing fancy. Go through those sprays. Once you do that, you can um, keep on um, giving him his offerings, wouldn't would not. Like uh, maybe you might offer him some burnt corn, some peanuts. You might want to offer him a plate, wouldn't would not. He has a certain place that he likes. Um, if you're going to offer him candies. As such, take his candies like this, and you wash, and you cleanse yourself with candies. Because sometimes you would wear, or usually you would wear your elekes, or your voodoo beads, or your risha beads. You would ask him to cleanse you with these candies, and bring love, and joy, and peace, and protection to your life. And then, you would put them around his tray, wouldn't would not. Any candies that go on his plate, or any food that goes on this plate stays out for three days. So you would throw it away on a Wednesday. 
And the way you discard it is you would throw the food away somewhere in nature, but more than likely at a crossroads, so at a four-way. Same thing with his candies. You could throw them away at any crossroads, wouldn't it not? So that stays on his plate for three days. The coffee gets thrown away the same day because you don't want to keep old coffee out. Or, or at the latest, the next morning. Um, as far as like any other candies or side candies like these, like coconut, so because love coconut candies, wouldn't it not? You can keep them out for like a couple weeks. Um, then once you do that, you want to blow smoke on them because, you know, he likes cigars. So let's say, for instance, that this black and mild is this cigar. Where my lighter at? Some people like to blow smoke three times per legua, or just blow smoke three times. And as you can see, I got my three elegues. I even got a pocket or a voodoo doll of elegua. And as you can see, I got his babies. Or in Spanish, it would be a thirdma. Or some people like to uh, shotgun uh, the cigars and it's both straight smoke. Once you do that, saying that this is the cigar, you put it on his tray or on his plate so he can smoke it, or you can put it sideways. And it's kind of like a form of sympathetic practical magic as to where if your leg was charged up and it's blessed with and whatnot, he's smoking from right there. But um, that's basically it. Um, let me think of anything else. So I know, I know it's going to be a lot of questions, so I kind of got them out the way ahead of time as far as discarding the offerings and where they go when we're not. Um, basically throwing the coffee day, for, um, basically, basically throwing the coffee away from one day to the next. That's pretty much it. Um, other than that, you know, peace to the family. This is Ocon's TV. Please like and subscribe. One.